Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. I hope that you woke up with a great attitude today, an attitude of gratitude so that you can take on whatever life decides to throw at you. I know I did. I know I'm sorry if I'm so cheery. If that isn't your thing, you're not a morning person. <clears throat> you know what? It's you might feel like you're not a morning person, but you can actually talk yourself into being a morning person if you just allow yourself to wake up with an attitude of gratitude so that you can navigate your day with the best possible day, like best possible, like best possible outcome, right? Like how you you react to things, how you respond to things, how you manage your emotions. I want to talk to you today about being you and owning it. Good morning. My name is Leslie Godette, and I'm an empowerment coach. I help my clients learn to spot their triggers so that they can manage their emotions and get back to what's important, which is pursuing their dreams and aspirations and turning their visions for their lives into their realities. So I read this article recently, and it says something really great that just resonated with me. And it goes on to say, what if someone is a jerk to other people? Is it okay for them to just be themselves and go on being a jerk to everyone? Or how about people who are fearful of being around others and live a hermit-like life avoiding people? Good morning. The person who's a jerk to others and the person who's afraid of social situations are in actuality not being themselves. Their real self is just being covered up with conditioned fear-based thinking. So the person who's a jerk has insecurities of their own. So in order to be able to mask those insecurities so that no one really can see how vulnerable they are, how maybe they just don't have it all together because they're trying to show that to the world that they have it all together, rather than allowing you to see their true selves, they're going to be a jerk to you. They're going to do whatever it is to be a jerk to you. And, uh, and it's just their way of, you know, masking their insecurities or the person who's afraid to go and be around other people and just stays inside is afraid to go out, is afraid to actually connect with other people. That's not a life either, right? Because what that person is really doing is being afraid to actually own who they are and be, a, and, because they are a great person, but they're afraid that if they go out into public and they interact with other people, that they'll be judged and criticized, maybe teased and put down because they're not confident in themselves. So our true self is really who we are when we let go of all of the stories all of the labels and all of the judgments that we put on ourselves, it's naturally who we are without all of the masks and the pretentiousness, right? It's our true self is who we really are when we let go of all of our labels and take off our masks. Just take off the mask, be who you are. You know what? Everyone is, is unique. And I like that. I love that everyone is unique. Would you like everyone to be the same? That every time you met someone, they were just like you, they talked just like you, they had no ambitions other than what was the same as you, they didn't believe in anything else except the same as you. That wouldn't be fun, that wouldn't even be enjoyable. Why? Because you want to be stretched, you wanna, you wanna learn something new, you want people to provide value to your life. So that's why I like everyone being unique. So good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. So, so when I say to you, be, own, be you and own it, what I mean is your true self. I mean the one that you know yourself to be, and maybe you're afraid to let go. You're afraid to show up for fear of being judged or criticized. Yeah, it's crazy, but it's true. We do fear that. You know, the one that's not afraid to have opinions, the one who is not afraid to be who you are and, and step outside of your comfort zone and do new things, try new things, and is open to new opportunities and possibilities. That person, that's the person you need to start showing up as. So I have some homework for you. I want you to be your best version. I want you to start living the life you love, but also start loving the life that you live. And in order to do that, you need to be true to who you are. The person that maybe you're afraid to show others because you may feel insecure or you're afraid to be judged or criticized. Yes, it is scary to be open and vulnerable and being that person that you really are. Hey, I was really freaked out when I first started doing Facebook Lives. I thought, oh my gosh, it's going to be out there. People are going to see that I'm weird, I'm quirky. 
you know, I always like I joke around and talk about life and how I feel like she's this kind of like a Cupid little thing flying around with darts instead of arrows and throwing them and having a good old time, sometimes missing, sometimes grazing to get your attention and then hitting those ones and then they're sticking. And then she's laughing because she knows you have to deal with it. And that's a quirky side of me that I think, you know, or that I always say that I try to wake up every day with an attitude of gratitude, because I feel like if you set yourself up for the right mindset, you can take on whatever life throws at you, even the hard things. And knowing that because you're in that mindset, that if it gets hard, you have the right frame of mind to deal with things. So here's what I want you to do. My challenge for you this week. I want you to get a piece of paper and I want you to fold it in half. And at the top on the left hand side of the paper, I want you to put the title, who am I being right now? Then I want you to list out all of your personality traits that you have that you feel that you are being today. And I want you to be honest. Okay. I don't want you to just say, I don't want you to be thinking about who you want to be. No, right now I want you to write down who you feel this moment in being honest, who you're being right now. Maybe you're being judgmental. Maybe you're holding on to grudges. Maybe you're that sarcastic person all of the time. Sarcastic, being sarcastic means you're masking certain things about yourself because you're feeling vulnerable, you're self-conscious about who you are. Maybe you're not friendly. Maybe you easily cut people out of your life because you know they do something and you're just not willing to actually compromise that people are not perfect and neither are you. Maybe you're quick tempered and I think you get what I'm saying here. And then on the same side, I want you to also write down all of the things that you are doing with your life on that side, like what you do for a living. If you're married happily or not, Maybe you have a significant other, you have kids, what you do for fun that can play a part in being true to who you are. Or are you putting on that face, that mask, you know, the mask that we sometimes like to put on for others. We don't want to show our true selves. Maybe it's like uh, saying, for example, you go on a date with someone new, right? You're not going to show them everything about you because you're vulnerable and you're thinking, if they see this side of me, they're going to run for the hills. <laughs> and that's not always true. For me, one of my things that I love about, well, I'm not dating anymore. Of course, I've been married for a long time. Good morning. But one of the things that I love about that I could say for me when I was dating, the key thing for me was the person had to be able to make me laugh. And I'm not talking about stupid laughing. I'm talking about actually be engaging and make me laugh and make me feel good about myself like that. So that was like one of my key features of looking for someone to spend my life with. So now on the other side of the fold of paper, I want you to put the title who I want to be. Now this is the side that you want. So I want you to do the same thing here. What kind of person you are? Are you generous? Are you loving? Are you kind? Are you compassionate? Are you friendly? This new, this person who you want to be. Are you happily married? Do you have a great family life? Do you love your job? Do you easily engage with others? And do you have a great circle of friends? Today um, is tribe day for me. So it's a day where I love to be able to just reflect back on all the people in my life that I know that have my back. They're uplifting, they're supportive, they encourage me to do what I do. And if I need a listening ear, they're there for me, a shoulder to lean on. Yeah, they're there for me. Those people are so important. <laughs> so do you have that great circle of friends on this side of the person who you want to be? I want you to list it all out. And then when you, when you go back through the other thing of, happily married. You know, on the other side, you put you're married, you have kids. I just wanted you to put that there just as a placeholder, because on this side, I want you to look at, okay, on the left side, am I being right today, a great husband, a great wife, a great daughter, a great um, sibling? You know, am I being all of that? Am I living the life that I love? Am I, do I have a good job that I love going to? Am I putting the best version of me out there every day. 
Then on this other side where you, who the person who you want to be, I want you to start actually thinking about, I am doing all of those things. List all of those things that you want to be as if you already are, okay? So why am I asking you to do all of this? Because maybe you have all of the above things going on in your life that are negative that we've talked about and you're unhappy. And maybe you're not realizing it and not realizing that you have the power. You. You have the power to change all of that and become the person that you've always wanted to be and have always known yourself to be. That person who you want to be that you're putting on the right-hand side of that folded piece of paper, <laughs> that is the person that you have the power to become if you're not already there. You have the power. You have the power to pick up your pen and rewrite the story. If you're not satisfied over here of how your life is going, you have the power to rewrite your story. It's always been in your power to do this. And I know sometimes you feel like, well, no, it's not because my circumstances are this, my circumstances are that. I'm, I'm going through a lot of hard things. I get it. That's life. But part of that is going through that as that person that you know that you want to be can help you manage your emotions while you're going through all of the stuff that life likes to throw at you to get your attention, that's a way of learning and, and leveling up who you are as a human being. We all talk, always talk about leveling up in our job or leveling up in a business, but what about leveling up in your own personal life, who you are as a human being? Make sure that if you have things on your left side that you need to work on, and that you have things on your right-hand side that you, that you strive for, that you aspire to, make sure that you take the steps in between. Look at it. What do I need to do to get to that level that I want to be? How do I level up me? You're amazing. You are. You just have to believe it and take back the power that's always been yours, rewrite your story, and Take all of those labels off that people like to put on you or you put on yourself. You know who you are. Take off your mask. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be open. It's okay to be who you are as long as who you are is not going to bring you down. It's not going to bring others down. I want you to be the best version of you. I want you to live the life that you love today. But I also want you to love your life that you're living. And the only way to do that is to be the best you possible. So that's why I threw out this challenge to you. So if you got jumped on late, the challenge is get a piece of paper, fold it in half, on the left-hand side, put a title, who am I being right now? And this is where you're going to list all of your personality traits of who you are, who you feel like you are being today, and be honest. Don't put on who you want to be. Put who you're being today. No one's going to see this but you, but be honest. Be honest about who you are being today. Maybe you're not being friendly or maybe you're judgmental. Maybe you're holding on to things that you don't need to hold on to, grudges. You know, things that you don't need. I'm going to give you an example of a grudge that I held on to for eight years. It was so detrimental to me. But I had a misunderstanding, a falling out with one of my brothers. And for eight years, we did not speak. And guess what I missed out on? I missed out on watching two of my nephews, who I had been super close with, grow up and become young men. How big? I'll go another further. I have an older brother. And I haven't really had that relationship as I would have loved to with my nieces and my nephew. I regret that. Why hold on to something that does not serve you? So I had to take a look in the mirror about who I was being as a person so that I could show up as a person who I want to be and who I'm being today because that's who I want to show up as, okay? So on the left, all, all of the things that are negative, be honest. And then on the right, who do you want to be? And write it all out. And then once you have both lists, think about, okay, this is where I'm at. This is where I want to be. 
Now in the middle, how do I get there? And you can do this because you have the power. I hope this was helpful for you today. I don't know if you can feel my passion coming through, but it's really super important to me that you start living the life that you love and loving the life that you live because what's the point of going through life if you're not happy, right? What's the point of going through life if you can't be the best version of you every day? And for your kids and for the people around you, the people that you interact with all the time, don't you want that to be positive? I know I do, and that's what I strive for every single day. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you know someone that can, needs to hear this, please, actually, I just want you to share this video because I want to help other people. So please share this video to help me, help others, to get this message out there. Again, thank you again for watching. I appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. It means the world to me that you are on here and supporting me, encouraging me, and uplifting me to do what I do, which is I love to share with you to help you become the best version of you. Okay, so thank you so much for, jo for joining in. My name is Leslie Gaudet. I'm an empowerment coach. I help my clients spot their triggers so they can manage their emotions and get back to what's important, which is pursuing their dreams and aspirations and turning their visions for their lives into their realities. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.